Hello everyone, Ian here and welcome to Fun Guy Gaming TV and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get your hands on the iconic katana sword called Sumtogi. Sumtogi? I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. I hope I just didn't butcher the word. <laughs> but other than that guys, I'm going to show you guys how you can acquire it. Plus within this mission specifically, this is actually the mission where you have a chance to romance Judy if you meet the criteria. So. I'll be telling you guys how you can go about doing that and how to get the iconic sword Sumtogi. But before I get into today's video, if you guys are new here and want to stay up to date with all my Cyberpunk 2077 videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you guys won't miss a thing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is look up the side job called Pisces and this will be the mission where you can get the Katana Sword while being able to make the right decision to further go your journey into building a romantic relationship with Judy. And in order to get this side job called Pisces, you're going to want to make sure you completed the missions called Both Sides Now, the X Factor mission, and talking about a revolution side job. So basically all the missions that involve Judy. And once you've completed all those, then go ahead and start the Pisces side job. Okay, I want to start off with Judy first, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're a female V, and it doesn't matter what life path you choose, you just need to be a female character. Second, all of the missions that had Judy in them before the Pisces mission, the dialogue isn't really important until you get to the Pisces mission. And that's when you're going to want to pay attention to the choices you make. Basically, you're going to want to deny anything Miko tries to offer you, and this will end up in a gunfight with the Tiger Claw dudes and Miko as well. After doing so, Judy will be mad at you for killing Miko, but eventually gets over it, and this will spark up the new side job called Pyramid Song, and after that, you pretty much got it, and then you successfully made a romantic relationship with Judy. Now, on with the mission. I found it much easier and faster just to stealth your way all the way up to the final part. Just simply take out the guards outside and inside of the first floor of the penthouse. Then you're going to want to head upstairs into the media room which you will encounter Miko and some Tiger Claw dudes. Just listen to all the dialogue going on and if you're looking to make Judy your girl then you're going to want to deny anything Miko says but if you don't care about the Judy thing then just choose any way you feel. But I know the way I was able to obtain some Togi sword was by taking out everyone in the room, then walking up to the sword and picking it up that way. Which, the katana sword could be missed if you weren't looking because at first glance, the sword on the coffee table doesn't really look like it's obtainable, but in reality, it's actually the iconic sword, Sumtogi. So that's pretty much how you can get the iconic weapon. And again, I'm not too sure if you leave the Tiger Claw dudes and Miko alive, if you can still get the sword, I just know that I took out everyone in the room and then I was able to go up to it and pick it up. So so if you already got the sword and you didn't have to fight anyone in the room and you still got it, let me know down in the comments because that's pretty interesting. I'm actually really interested on the different paths you can take and the different dialogue choices you can make in the game. And I just want to actually try out, you know, get a chance to just try out different dialogue choices and see how many ways you can go about the storyline. It's pretty interesting to me. But that's going to be it from me, guys. If you guys found this video useful, please consider giving it a like. And if you guys want to see more Cyberpunk 2077 videos, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys all have a great day. But until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.